story time with Mama G. Come and hear a story with me. Love who you want to be, who you are. Learn these lessons and we'll go far. It's story time. Story time. Story time with Mama G. Hello, everybody. It's Mama G here. And thank you for joining me for more stories about being who you are and loving who you want. I have got some good ones for you today. I've got two that I've written and I've got another one provided courtesy of my gorgeous friends at Anderson Press. Now, how on earth are all of you? Are you having a lovely summer holiday? I really hope you are. And don't forget that I love to know what books you're reading as part of the Summer Reading Challenge. And you can let me know by finding me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Just search for at Mamma G Stories. But now, I think it might be time for the first story. Now, this story is about a very silly noise. So before I tell the story, why don't you tell me what is your favourite silly noise? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, oh, oh yes, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Lots and lots of very silly noises. Well, let me tell you what my favourite silly noise is. Well, I've got a few, actually. I really like this one. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny, but I do, my darlings. I know that not everyone does, so if, sorry if that made your stomach turn a little bit. Uh, I also like this one. Oh, you know, when you see somebody do something they shouldn't, or you hear some gossip and you go, oh. And then I like, this is my favourite one. My absolute favourite, and I reckon you're going to like it too. It goes like this. <laughs> That's my favourite silly noise ever! <laughs> now, how many of you did I match up with who had that as a favourite silly noise as well? You can let me know on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube, don't forget. Well, I hope you like that noise because we're going to be making that noise a lot during this story. Now, you're going to know when to make that noise because I'm going to hold up this sign. That's it. It's like a gust of wind coming out of a bottle. So it is this noise. Lovely. And whenever I hold it up, I want you to make that noise. All right, you ready? So this story is called The Billy Goat's Guff. Once upon a time, there lived three goats. Billy Goat, Millie Goat, and Vanilli Goat, if you know, you know. Millie, Vanilli, and Billy were all sisters, but nobody liked Billy. She was the underdog, or and a goat, if you will, all because of one thing. Billy guffed all the time. That's it. And by guffed, I mean farted, broke wind, windy popped, bottom burped, passed gas, and generally caused a great big stink. For as long as Billy could remember, she had always been a farter. And because of that, Millie, Vanilli and the other goats always stayed away. Billy was so lonely, all because of who she was. Millie and Vanilli, on the other hand, were as close as two siblings could be. They did everything together, just to make sure that they didn't have to do anything with Billy. And Billy definitely wasn't included in their dream of becoming pop stars. Having a sister that guffed all the time wasn't going to be a good look for Millie or Vanilli. The Jonas Brothers didn't get where they are by farting all the time, did they? Despite how their music sounds. Anyway, their dream was soon to become a reality. The next door farm was holding a bleating competition. The grand prize was going to be a recording contract and all the hay you could eat. This was too good an opportunity to miss. There was just one problem. The farm was across the river. And that meant going over the bridge, which neither Millie, Vanilli, Billy or any of the other goats had done for a really long time. 
Why, I hear you ask? Well, underneath that bridge lived a troll. The most terrifying troll that you could ever imagine. And I don't mean a Twitter troll. I mean a real, giant, crazy-eyed, grizzly troll that liked to tear goats limb from limb and have them for his elevenses. And this troll is the troll that stood between Millie, Vanilli, and worldwide fame. They had to get across the bridge, and their goat friends wanted to come with them too. But what were they going to do? Millie and Vanilli hatched a plan, but it wasn't a very nice one, because it would almost certainly end with Billy being torn limb from limb and eaten for their elevenses. All the goats marched down to the bridge. They started trying to cross, but the troll woke up from his slumber. Who dares cross my bridge, boomed the troll. Millie stood her ground, but all the other goats ran up the hill. Oh, it's only me trying to get to the other side, the troll shouted. But this is my bridge. Anyone who even steps a toe on it will get torn limb from limb and eaten for my elevenses. Millie said, oh no, oh, you don't want to do that. I'm very grisly, not an ounce of fat on me. You should wait for my sister. She's much bigger than I am. The troll thought about it and definitely wanted to eat a fatter goat. So he let Millie cross the bridge. When she got to the other side, she waved at Vanilli. Vanilli trotted onto the bridge. The troll said, Who dares cross my bridge? Ow! Oh, it's only me. Oh, I'm just trying to get to the other side. But this is my bridge, shouted the troll. Anyone who even steps a toe on it will get torn limb from limb and eaten for my elevenses. Oh, no. Oh, oh, you don't want to do that. Oh, I'm very grisly. Not an ounce of fat on me. You should wait for my sister. Oh, she's much bigger than I am. The troll thought about it and definitely wanted to eat an even fatter goat. So, he let Vanilli cross the bridge. When she got to the other side, she waved at Billy. Billy couldn't believe she was finally part of the gang, so she trotted onto the bridge, stepped on it, and the troll immediately started laughing. <laughs> 